third type of transformation, which is called rotation. Okay. Do you remember when we see the pattern of the marker we have? Okay. If I rotate it like this, so I rotate how many degree? It's 90 degree. Okay. So if I rotate like this, is it clockwise or counterclockwise? It's like the clock. So we call it clockwise. Okay. I have a rotation. I have a three times, which is first one 90 degree, which is can represent as 90 degree, 180, and 270 degree. And we have clockwise, and to the other side, which is counterclockwise. Like, when I move the pen where the marker I rotated, is it changing shape or size, or is it keep the same? Yes, keep the same because we call it congruent. So do you remember what the name of congruent? Congruent means same. So when I have a rotation, so a free image and the image are congruent. Okay. I have two types of rotation, which is clockwise and counterclockwise. The clockwise I have three degrees, which is the first one, 90 degree. Second one, 180, and the third one, 270. If I have a point, every point has a coordinate x and y. Okay? If you need to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, you have to change the places y and x. Here I have the x is first, so change the place to be the second one. And the y is second one, change it to be the first. So, for every point x and y, if you need to rotate it 90 degrees clockwise, it's going to be y and negative x. So this means I'm going to change in places and also change the sign of x. So if I have a point which is 2 and 1, here I have x and here I have y. So let's call it a. So in m, which is a dash, it's going to be a y. What the value of y? 1. So it's going to be 1. And what the value of x? 2. So it's going to be negative. So this means I change the places and change the sign of x. Okay, second one, I need to rotate it 180 degrees clockwise. We're talking about clockwise, like this. If I have a point x and y, change just to change the sign of x and the y. So if I have a point which is 3 and 4, which is b, so the image which is b dash, it's going to be negative 3 and negative 4. Don't change the sign. X and Y, we keep the places with. Okay. The third one, which is 270 degree, and also clockwise. For every point, X and Y, change the places. And now, change the sign of Y. So 270 and 90 degree, both are like. But, here I change the sign of X, and here I change the sign of Y. So if I have a point which is C, if I have a coordinate 10 and 2, and 10 represents the X and 2 representing the Y. So the M, which is C dash, is going to be negative 2 and 10. Okay? This is for clockwise. Now we're going to talk about counterclockwise. Counterclockwise, which is the other side, which is opposite to the clock. Also, I have three degrees, which is 90, 180, and 270. For every point, x and y, change the places and change the sign of y. Okay? So, if I have d, which is 2 and 3, so the image is going to be d dash, which is change the places first. So, it's going to be 3 and 2, and change the sign of y. Just negative 3 and 2. So change the place, change the sign of y to 3, so it's going to be negative 3 and 2. Now it's 180 degree, also counterclockwise, right? X and y, change the sign of x and y and keep the places. So 180 degree, clockwise and counterclockwise both have the same rule, which is just change the sign and keep the places. So if I have a point which is E, so, if I have a point E, it's 11 and 3, it's going to be the energy, which is E dash, not to change the sign. So, it's going to be negative 11 and negative 3. And the third one, which
which is 270 degree delta clockwise. Keep the, if I have x and y, change the places and change the sign of x. So if I have the points f, which is 2 and 5, the m is going to be f dash, open brackets, change the places. So 5 became the first. So 5 and change the sign of x. So positive 2, so it's going to be negative 2. Okay? And now with the device, we have a counterclockwise and clockwise. 90 degree, 180 to 170. Also in counterclockwise, 90 degree, 180 and 170. You have to stick with this rule so we can solve the exercise. Mm -hmm. Okay, and now let's solve this exercise. We ask you to graph the rectangle A, B, C, D with the vertex A, negative 7 and 4, so negative 7 representing the X, and 4, which is 1. Second one, B, negative 7 and 1, so negative 7 is X, and 1 is the Y. C, negative 2 and 1, so X and Y. D, negative 2 and 4, you have an X, and here you have a Y. And graph after rotation 90 degree clockwise. So you need to graph it first with the original or preeminent, which is rectangle A, B, C, D, and after the rotation. Okay, we ask you to repeat 90 degree clockwise. So I'm going to back to my room. 90 degree clockwise. So X and Y, change the places and change the sign of X. So first I have to write my room, which is X and Y going to be y and negative x. Okay, so let's start the first point. I have a, so a dash. Okay, change the places. So first, the y became first. So 4 and x, change the sign. Negative, which is me, multiply the negative, or just change. So negative 7, if I multiply negative 7 by negative 1, so it's going to be positive 7 or just change the sign. Second point, which is B. So B dash, change the places. So seven, and negative seven and one. So it's going to be one and positive seven. C, so it's going to be C dash. Negative two and one. Change the place and change the sign of X. So one and two. D, so I need D dash. Negative 2 and 4, so it's going to be 4 and positive 2. And now let's go to graph it. Okay, let's point uh, at first one, which is A, I have negative 7 and 4, so negative 7 and X, and then up to the reach 4, so this is the first point, which is A. Second point, B, negative 7 and 1, negative 7 and X, and then up to the reach 1 in the Y, and so this is B. C, negative 2 and 1, so negative 2 and X, I move up till you reach 1, and this is C. D, negative 2 and 4, so negative 2 and move up till you reach 4, you may have D. Now, let's connect between them. So I have my rectangle, which is E, B, C, and D. Let's grab the image. First, so A dash, 4, and reach, and 7. So 4 and X, and move up to reach 7. And here I have A. Second point, which is B dash, it's 1 and 7. So 1, and move up to reach 7. And this is B dash. And C dash, 1 and 2. So 1. And two, C dash, D dash, four and two, four and two, D dash. They join between the points. And now I have the image which is rotated 90 degree clockwise. So move from this point became my this one. Thank you.